Chuck Davis here. We're at Slowzauer Studio, and every night is Friday night, so let's go on and see what the fuck's going on. And, and something like designing a book, I mean, it starts with, uh, like some of you have, have a Chucky. Book, huge... Chucky, hey, let's see some books! <laughs> Which book would you like? Know, start with the Van Halen. You have a huge archive um, of, let's say, the Van Halen book. Well, it, well, yeah, it's a little, <laughs> we may have to scan one and put it in because that thing's been through the mill. I, I only I have, that's the only copy I have, you know. Uh, and that's a defect, too. I think that's the one when you open up the front cover, it goes to the last page upside uh, down. <laughs> so it, that's like when the coin, you know, the, the U.S. Mint coin. prints bad coins and they're worth more money because it's a, a defect. So yeah. this book is a, a Van Halen. Pictures. I think it's the only one I saw like that that was a defect. But this is what year to what year? That's the good years, 78 to 84. David Lee Roth years, young Van Halen coming out of the chute, hard, heavy, raw, hungry, nasty, you know. Awesome. So, awesome book, by the so way. So you got it upside down. Good awesome work, book, Sandy. by the way. <laughs> She's just recuperating just from like last say. night. So, <laughs> so for me, uh, the exciting part uh, really was to dig through the archives of Neil's. Um, literally, I don't know, what would you say, how many photos do you have from that period? Wow. I mean, we're looking there, there's three thousands. out of four. Yeah, there's, oh yeah, there's thousands of photos. I mean, I know I spent over a week uh, digging, digging through photos, looking at literally every slide, pulling out pictures that, you know, yeah. caught my attention. And actually, I wasn't involved with that process because, like I said, you know, when I go to, you know, people say, Neil, we need Eddie Van Halen shots. Neil, we need David Lee Roth. Neil, we need Group Van Halen. I have my favorites in there that I always gravitate right. to and pick the same thing. So for this book, we wanted to get fresh photos that no one's really seen before. So I set Tom up there and just him, he went through all my Van Halen stuff and he sort of made his selection and I looked through it later and there were a couple that we butted heads on that I didn't really think should be there but I, we sort of give, you know, gave and took a little bit and I think you won out more than I did, you know, so. Do you remember around how many Van Halen pictures are in this book? Um, it's probably about 300. 300. And I think initially I probably pulled maybe 800. And that's, that's a really hard part because, I mean, we could have made four books, you know, yeah. with your stuff. That, and so the, the editing part, as you guys know, is, is, is the tough part. Yes. Yeah. What, which photos are the best? Right. And, 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 and you try not to be biased, you right. know? Like maybe sometimes you like a photo because you have some sentimental reasons behind it. Maybe you had a poster of that picture when you were a kid. Right. Uh, but maybe it's not all that great of a photo, so you have to kind of maybe leave it out. Right. I mean, I, there's a few in there that uh, are some of my teenage, you know, favorites. Like which one? Pick two. Just tell uh, me. Well, obviously the the, the flag photo. Uh, the, yeah, that's Do you remember good. what page it's on? No, no. <laughs> no, but we'll flash it. The flag photo raising of the flag of Iwo Jima, which was yeah. A, Great. That was a good. Um, that was for the US Festival. And, and, and for me, you know, being um, this is a coincidence that I'm wearing this, but uh, being a big Van Halen fan, uh, ha having the opportunity to look through all these photos, I mean, it was sort of the same as when I uh, did the Kiss Box set. Right. You know, I got to see photos that yeah, I had posters when I was a kid on my walls, and uh, all of a sudden I'm holding the original slide in my hand. It's pretty cool, yeah. you know, for for a, for a kid from Switzerland. Absolutely. Uh, you know, did you need some Kleenex that day? <laughs> no, not that kind. Of so basically, hey, wait, wait, wait. This, this entire book you designed from beginning until end. Yeah. Yep. And he after, did everything. After that's finished, and you go to the publishing company, are they hard on you? Did well, they want a lot of changes. The Van Halen or? book was was different uh, because it was pretty much finished when we went to Chronicle Books or when they you know connected with them. Right. Uh, the other ones, they're, they're kind of involved, you know, they kind of want to see what we, the kind of photos that we pull. Um, so you go with them with a concept or is it pretty much the well, same Well, initially thing? after like a project is approved, when they give Neil a contract and he, they sign it and everything, uh, we start pulling photos and, you know, I sent them the selection and said, you know, this is the stuff that we, we, uh, we have, that we right. want to use and of course, um, they have their say, and usually they say, "Great," because the, his work is so great. I mean, there's 
what can you say? There's very yeah. few bad photos. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it, it's kind You're of... You're just so talented now. One thing I want to show you to show you Tom's talent. So no one ever commented on this because this photo has been seen before. But actually, Ed's shirt was like green and black and whatever. And Tom's so smart that since we have everything in red, and Dave's got red and Eddie's pants were in red, he actually changed the color of Eddie's shirt to that color there, which oh. I thought was pretty deep. Oh. Instead of the green, which sort of clashed with everything. Yeah, well, so. when I think Van Halen, obviously, I think of red, white, and black, uh, like the, the Frankenstein guitar. Um, and green just to me didn't seem like an Eddie color. I mean, he, he's worn some funny stuff over the well, years. Well, that's an understatement. Back, right. back then, uh, but at the same time, he always had a very distinctive look on every tour. You know, so you can always easily say, "Oh, this is 1980. This is right. that tour. This is this tour." Uh, yeah. So you know, you, you you do a few tweaks here and there, um, but to a point where like somebody who doesn't know the original photo. They will never know. Right, right, yeah. right, right. right. And, the, and then, Chucky, bring out the next book, which is one of my favorites. We are, no, no. Fuck oh, you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, good, good hands. Medicated Chuck dropping the books on the ground. Okay, here. We'll show it. No, that's this for you personally. This is actually one of my oh, okay. favorites as well. <laughs> so, Great another one, Tom, where we worked on together. And once again, for all you Motley fans, Mixed guitar was yellow and black, but since we got the rock and roll portraits in pink, Tom was able to change the yellow and black hammer into pink and black. So here, you can hold it. I'm lazy today. Slow's middle finger. Yeah, that's mine. Does it look the same? <laughs> that was a great idea, by the way. Whose idea was that? I don't know whose idea was it, but I remember I shot it. But I think you gave me a couple different variations, and I didn't like it. And then you high contrasted. Right, right. I'm like, yeah, it looks good. I mean, this was a funny book, you know. I think over the years you collected uh, every time you had a shot of like whatever. Yeah. Well, Steven Tyler or whoever. Yeah, well, that's so the he's like, the first one in the book, Steven. And right. You like would put him away in a different folder. Right. And then I remember years ago you said to me like, one day we'll make a fuck you book. Right. And then so somehow this came up and again, Chronicle Books was like, oh yeah, great idea. Yeah. And the people at Chronicle, Steve Marcus, everybody else there, they're fantastic. We love them, so. Yeah. But yeah, this busy. is a fun book. It just, like Tom said, over the years, every time I get a roll of film bag, oh, like, he's flipped me off. Let's put it in the fuck you drawer in my file cabinet. And then when the book got approved, you know, we went to that drawer. But I still started at A for ABBA except Aerosmith you know, Anthrax, ACDC, and had to work my way all the way to the ZZ Top Zeppelin, you know, right. Zappa file and go, hmm, who do I think I have Flip me the finger? And some people, like I was looking for Axel, couldn't find an Axel mm, shot. Surprisingly. Well, yeah, <laughs> actually, you know, Axel's fine, you know, everybody <laughs> thinks he's, you know, Mr. Uh, whatever, but, and, you know, like I said, I didn't stop at the Kenny Rogers drawer, the Lionel Richie drawer, to go look at photos of those two flip me off, right. but. But we have, uh, what's his name? Chick. Chick Corea. Chick Corea, I love well, that. That's one of the ones that you throw enough by that photo. Well, that's that the one that, funny. you know, after I sent the photos to Chronicle, so what did you think of the photos I sent you? They're like, oh, dude, that one of Chick Corea <laughs> flipping you the finger. It looks like he's never flipped the finger before in his life. I'm like, wait a second. Out of all the people, Tommy Lee, Motley, Poison, that I sent them samples on, that Chick Corea was the one that sold them the book. So, <laughs> so The, the uh, unexpected one. Oh, yeah. No, because I mean, obviously he's the type of musician you wouldn't expect, expect that, that kind from. of gesture from. Right. And then what book's next? What do you work on next? Chucky, don't drop it. Well, which one do you want? Well, the next one. Motley. We're, we're giving we're you a cruise. Motley. That would be the next one. Cool. Here's the next one Tom and myself worked on. Yeah, with uh, obviously, I think, the classic session you had with them. The blood session. Yeah, well, that's uh, the, well, yeah that is from the blood session, but you tweaked the background on that and did that. You know, and it, Tom doesn't just copy every idea for every book and they all look the same. I mean, the Motley cover is different than the Van Halen. Oh, yeah, the background, I think, on the original is kind of like a gray. Yeah, it's like, a gray. Yeah, it wasn't so a, I just needed to add a little bit more red to it. You know? Yeah, but you did your little <laughs> tweaking on it. Yeah, and so. and there's some craziness around, you know, just kind of give that sort of like Motley craziness, yeah. you know. And that's um, Motley from 82, 83 to about 89, 90. And no, then 2005. 
Yeah, but it stopped for a while. Does that go all the way? See, you know, he knows more about my books than I do. Uh, you know, but he had to look at those pictures long enough. So, yeah. so and so yeah, this was a fun book. You out know? of all these books, which one was your funnest or most interesting? I know uh, you probably love Van the, Halen, probably but. actually the next one. Uh, um, let's see the next one. Yeah, that's the last one. Even though we're working on another, but six string heroes. So this one, uh, me being a guitar player myself, hobby guitar player. Um, Used to playing bands back uh, back home, but uh, and Tom's from Switzerland. In case he didn't say that, so that's back home. If Land you're of Crocus. Crocus. <laughs> yeah. Long stick goes <laughs> boom, baby. Uh, so this this to me is like a, a super cool book. If you are remotely interested in guitars or guitar playing or rock music or actually not even rock music, because there's a few people in there that have nothing to do with rock, such as Chet Atkins. Paco de Lucia, uh, one of my Freddie King, BB King, uh, Pat Metheny. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit in there for everybody, and yeah, you know we I got know. all the greats except Stevie Ray Vaughan, who I never shot before. I just missed the whole thing, and Jimi Hendrix. Even though I saw Jimmy four times, I was too young and never shot him. But you know, there's someone that did a review on this book and was bagging on the book. Well, there's no Jimi Hendrix and there's no Stevie Ray Vaughan. Well, I never shot him. That's why they aren't in there. <laughs> okay, you gotta understand. I shot every photo in this book. It's not a compilation. Here's Ross Alphin. Here's Mark Weiss. Here's Gene Kirkland. You know, well, here, that's, here's that, that. That really is the amazing thing about this book. It's like there. Maybe a Ross Halfin has that kind of archive of all these people. I mean, Chuck Berry is in here. Right. Uh, I mean, it's amazing, you know, like that one guy has shot. I mean, we should count them once, you know. I, I, don't, I know. don't think I could count that high. <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, a few hundred, I think about 200 or so, maybe a little over 200 different musicians in this book, photographed by. You know. Yeah, and some are live photos, some are off stage, some are sound checks, some are backstage, some yeah, are here in my know, studio. I love the front of this. Uh, one thing I'm really proud about this book is that we got Les Paul in. Yeah, we did uh, get Les Paul. And actually, I think a few months later, he passed away. And we gave him sort of... Yeah, he got, he got a lot of love in that book. Yeah. A, a but that, those were Les Paul photos yeah, I shot in 1980 when I went to his house in right. Maui or Malwau. And maybe Jersey. they're not your best photos ever but they're cool photos because they're uh you see a few guitars like his very first guitar he i forgot what they call that the log is that what it's yeah, called i, I think, think so, the very yeah. first so one. there's historically a little guitar history in there but it's know? funny if you go through this book how many people are playing les paul guitars a lot of people yeah, yeah i mean and by the way you can get all these books on amazon.com yeah i don't sell them so don't ask me for any <laughs> don't call you guys them. buy them you can send them to me i'll sign them send them back to you if you pay the and return shipping so and uh, other stores that the books are in uh, borders, borders, Barnes and Noble. You know what? A lot of the, you know, Steve from Chronicle told us Best Buys was not going to carry books anymore. But I've gone to a few Best Buys and seen my books there. Still? Yeah. So well, I don't know. Well, maybe they're just like selling the last batch. Maybe. Whatever. I mean, you know, I think a, a, a store like Best Buy you don't necessarily go there to buy a book. Well, you no, that's you go there to buy an iPod or a cell phone or, or a computer. Or yeah. Yeah. I don't go to Best Buys to buy books. Right. So that but I do go to Borders and Barnes and Nobles, and these are usually of pretty course. prominently displayed. Yes, yeah, so, and what he does is he makes me watch out for people, and he'll put them right in the front. Yeah, yeah, well, this is what we do. <laughs> so if we, we see them like this, and you're walking through, and you see the end, I take them all out, and I put them like this, and cover up my competitor's yes. books. So if you see Lowe's books out there, do the same thing. Yeah, if you see them, yeah. take them out, put them so everybody, you're jamming them right in their face. Yeah. <laughs>